Ryan Steinelson here. Hope you're doing well. I am coming to you live from Ubud. Let me just give you my uh, my backdrop here from Ubud, Bali, in the uh, rice fields here. I'm uh, consulting with a with a client here. There you go. There's my there's my backdrop. Um, I help business brands leverage live video in order to get their message to the market, and uh, and that's actually what I wanted to talk about just briefly today because one of the biggest challenges uh, my agency. Uh, has come up against for years with uh, with small businesses with with uh, with local businesses is their their challenge to get their message to the to the marketplace they don't have the budgets that large brands have and so a lot of times what happens is is uh, they have to bootstrap and uh, until and, and what this means is is that they just don't get, have the reach they they can't reach as many people um, and the, they or haven't been able to reach as many people in the past. Uh, they haven't been able to um, get their message to the marketplace, reach the right types of people. And that really has changed with social media. And I just wanted uh, to give you uh, some examples. Obviously, um, with the advent of live video, which is uh, what I like to talk a lot about, I like to leverage live video um, in, uh, in everything that I do with, um, hey, Dan, glad you're here. Um, let me know if you've got any questions. One of the things that that I, I like to use live video for is to do exactly what I was just stating with you is is to get is to help businesses get their message to their market and that really is is what has shifted is the ability for businesses large and small but I, I would submit to you that that really the reason why why large businesses are not able to leverage live video, at least not from my experience. Uh, have they been able to really leverage live video to the extent that small businesses can is because they, they have more red tape. They have more people that they have to get approval from. And I've, I've seen this in my agency. We've, we've worked with many large businesses and we've tried to get them to do live video. And if it's the marketing department, they have to get approval from the VP of marketing and everything has to, to be approved that's said. And, you know, what if there's, and this is, these are real concerns. I mean, you know, this has been going on for a long time. This is things that, these are all things that we've, we've been talking about for a while, which is, you know, things like copyright. Well, what if there's music playing in the background um, and, you know, or you see somebody else that's in the background and their face is, is shown. Well, we might be held liable as a large company, and so large companies are very, uh, very reluctant to start doing live video. And if they do, it's very controlled. And I would, and the other, the the reason why that that actually does favor the small business is because when, from my experience, I've done video that has been a little bit out there where. I, for example, strap my, my phone to my, my, uh, my forehead when I went kite surfing. Those were the most engaging videos because they were different. And when you have, when, when, when you have as a marketing person for a larger company, the challenge of not being able to do things like that, it significantly limits your ability to reach your audience and to create engaging content. So. The, the, the benefit as a small company is that you can get away with a lot more. You can do more things because you don't have to go and get approval from upper level management. You can, you know, you can go live and do different things. Like, you know, one of the things that we're going to do in the next few days here is we're going to go on a road trip. And uh, one of the guys that I'm working with here, um, they really want to build their brand. And what better place to do it than here in Bali? And to highlight that by going live from our motorcycles when we're you know road tripping it around the island of Bali along the coast, you know then to you know create engaging content like that without wor without having to worry about you know all the other stuff that's going. Not to say that we're not going to not going to consider that. Obviously we are, um, but there's just there's fewer uh, obstacles in the way, and there's more opportunity from my experience. In working with both small businesses and larger businesses, uh, that you, you, I mean, you can't even really compare. I mean, it, it, there's there's such a big, there's such a vast difference because of the two reasons that I just mentioned. 
Number one, again, because of the red tape, because of the approval you have to get. Number two, because of the concern of, um, of offending somebody or copyright issues or getting somebody on camera that didn't want to be on camera and the, the liability that might be there. Not to say that you don't want to consider that. It's just that um, it's much more acceptable for a small company uh, to, uh, you know, to, to leverage this type of a medium. And not only this, like live video, but any type of medium. I mean, it's any, any of the social media platforms that are out there, Snapchat, like, like live video on Instagram or Snap, Snapchat, Snapchat, um, et cetera. So anyway, just wanted to go live really quick. I am, uh, Doug, what's going on? I am going to, I'm using um, uh, Switcher Studios. Uh, for whatever reason, it's not going live here from Boot. I think it might be because, because we're right at the one point, you know, two megabit per second uh, speed right now uh, from the, the Wi-Fi here, which is just on the border of, of being uh, acceptable for a live video stream. So I think that's the reason why it's, it's, it's failing every once in a while. But uh, I'm going to test it in uh, Abood, uh, the, the city here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take my scooter on down the road here. But um, Doug, check this out. So um, but let me know if you have any questions about that. This is uh, my backdrop here from the studio or from the, the villa here that I'm, that I'm working from. Darcy just went back home yesterday. <clears throat> um, and she's going to be arriving in San Diego, hopefully sometime in the next five or six hours. But um, anyway, thanks, guys. Um, go ahead and uh, message me. Uh, go ahead and um, message me on my Facebook Messenger, my chat bot. Go to m.me forward slash go live Ryan. That's m.me forward slash go live Ryan. And um, I'd love to let me know any questions you have. And I will talk to you guys later. Thanks.